Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro from Creative Cow. Today, I'm going to explore a companion application to Premiere Pro, and that's Adobe Audition, which is included in Adobe Creative Suite 5.5. We're going to go ahead and open up a narration file and retime it, which works really well. Inside Audition, you can choose File Open and navigate to your audio file that you want to process. It comes on in. And this is pretty straightforward. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration. This is just a scratch audio track, but I want to retime it to get things down to the right duration that I need for my edit. So let's go ahead here. We're trying to force something to fit. And we'll first off do a little bit of noise reduction. I'm going to select that background audio there. Shift P to set the noise print. And then we're going to go ahead and do Shift Command P and we'll clean that up. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration or simply do not use BGP as much at all. As a result, you may have to learn... That's good. Let's go ahead and normalize this out. There we go. And I want to retime. Currently, this is taking 25 seconds to deliver the narration, and I need it to be faster because we've got a 22-second animation where this needs to fit. Now, we can always re-render the animation, but in this case, it's going to be easier to retime the narration. Here's how. We've got everything selected. I'm going to go under Effects here, and I'm going to work with Time and Pitch, and we'll do Stretch and Process. That brings up a new dialog here, and you have the ability to adjust it. So currently, it's just over 25 seconds, and I'm going to type in the new duration of 22 seconds. Now, we can lock stretch and settings to the new duration if we want, and that's fine. Or I can uncheck that so I can manually tweak. Let's go ahead and preview that. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration or simply do not use BGP as much at all. As a result, you may have to learn BGP solely. Now, that worked pretty good. And there's two options to choose here. You see you have two algorithms, the isotope radius, which is widely used in the radio industry, and the Adobe Audition. I recommend you try both of those out, and it's really going to depend on your source material which works better. I find that one may work better with male voices versus female voices, and you just really want to sort of play with it. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration or simply do not use BGP as much at all. As a result, you Notice there, too, you have the ability to use precision. You might as well stick with high. If you twirl this down under advanced, you'll find some other options here, including the ability to go ahead and choose constant vowels so they're nice and clean and do some appropriate defaults. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration or simply do not use BGP as much at all. That's working pretty well. Let's jump back over to Isotope for a second and under Advanced there, you'll see we have the ability to go ahead and play a little bit with the pitch. And we can identify that this is a single voice. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration or simply do not use BGP as much at all. As a result, you may have to learn BGP solely through study without much or any real world experience. BGP as a logic also differs significantly from that works well. When I'm satisfied, I can click OK. And you'll see that the audio will reprocess out. Now, this is a bit of an intensive effect because it's doing a lot of processing to change that speed while maintaining pitch. But this is very effective. And you see this all the time, or more appropriately, hear this all the time, when you're listening to narration sped up for radio spots, or you just have too much information to fit in too short of a spot. We have worked with vocal talent who find it difficult to sometimes cram 14 seconds of client narration into a 10 second tag. And this is a good trick to sort of fit that down. Now remember, you can go too far, so you want to find a good balance. Most enterprises keep a relatively static BGP configuration or simply do not use BGP as much at all. When you're satisfied, save this out. You could choose File, Save As, and this is going to allow you to write a new file over your old one. So I'll call this speed, and I'm going to save this as an AIFF file. Notice it's going to pick up the same settings as 48 kilohertz 16-bit, and I'll click OK, and it writes that file out. This way I have both for comparison sakes. So just one of the many things you could do with the new Adobe Audition, be sure to check it out. If you don't have Adobe Audition, you could download a fully functional 30-day trial as part of Creative Suite Production Premium from Adobe's website. 
For Creative Cow, my name is Rich Harrington, and I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where you can check out even more podcasts and the great Creative Cow magazine that's just filled with wonderful stories about real-world projects and how they are put together.